Hop on! All right, we've got to make some tracks here. And red lights are always getting in the way. How y'all doing? Peter Van Gom here. I'm just heading out to work and we are going to head into Kagurazaka. Really cool neighborhood and we're running a little late. So thank goodness we have a machine under us that is loaded with ponies. This is my speed triple, 1050 cc's of angry energy, angry fun energy. So we gotta take it easy. And especially on this street, it's a 20 kilometers an hour. I don't even think this thing can go 20 kilometers an hour. Is that bike a little big for that guy? All right. Yeah, giddy up. That's what I'm talking about. So as I mentioned, we're going into Kagurazaka, which is kind of near Idabashi. The Kagurazaka is really cool. There's, there's a, a lot of French restaurants there. And that's well, tight squeeze. Eateries that are really good. It's a, it's a classy neighborhood. I wouldn't say it's trendy, but I would say it's classy. And being that I'm both trendy and classy, so I really enjoy going to Kagurazaka for work and for eating. What I'm finding with all of this free time I have, and I'm sure you're finding the same, that you're tending to get into projects that you've been avoiding for years, i.e deep cleaning the house, washing windows. We're gonna move up here for pole position. I've been getting into a lot of washing, dangerous washing. I was washing my skylights, which are on a, a steep pitched roof, scary as F. And then I turned to my son and got him involved in getting his room cleaned. There's been stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff. Several days ago, we got started on it. Go through the books that you no longer want or need. Same with your toys. So, you know, he's 10 years old. He's, he's had a collection of toys that he never plays with anymore. And some of them are pretty cool, like Kamen Rider. I did the voice of Kamen Rider for one of the toys and for the, the, uh, the television series. I was kind of thinking to myself, PVG, this could come around and bite you in the ass hard. Let's just roll with it. Let's get rid of this stuff. Here's a big opportunity to get rid of this stuff. And then I pulled a T rump like he's appointing governors have the final say in whether or not they ease the restrictions in their states. So it's a brilliant maneuver. So rather than him taking the, the heat. So I, I, I used the same ploy with Joji. I said, you look at this stuff carefully and if you don't need it, then put it in the pile that you're not going to need anymore and we'll get rid of it. So he put stuff out and I double checked it. I was like, sure you don't need this? You sure you don't need this? Yeah, let's, well, let's keep this. This is kind of a cool book. That's how we rolled. And we had stacks and stacks of books and magazines that went bye-bye. Then his mother wakes up on the wrong side of the futon. Fists of fury mood, which is not often, but I get to see it in her eyes and she corners joji where's your blah 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 book uh i threw it out what you threw it out and oh man i haven't seen her flip like this before and he thought oh okay i'm already in the fifth grade now i don't need these fourth grade tests anymore i'll chuck them <laughs> so he chucked them but he hadn't sent them in for being corrected and his mom flipped out. I, I used my, uh, my trump card, if you'll pardon the term, uh, and said, well, I, I asked him. He had the final say on what was going out. 
So I felt bad. I felt really bad for Joji. He was really upset. There's a police van, an unmarked van, other than the red lights on the top. Ooh, I got 11 minutes to get there. We got a haul. So here's the here's the funny kicker. His mom's all in a huff, and she sends me a mail. You need to call the ward office garbage factory and go down there and look for those books. Yeah, right. Like we're really gonna do that. Anyhow, make a long story long. Everybody's all happy again, and we got it all sorted out. So. Let that be a lesson to you folks. When you're doing your deep cleaning and you're throwing stuff out, check with your, uh, your wife or your husband or whoever has the final authority. Right up here on the right is Tokyo Dome City, another entrance. There's a, a cool museum in there called Ten-Q up there at the top. It's a, a space museum. There's a lot of uh, exhibitions on um, JAXA, which is the Japanese version of NASA. All right, come on, let's go, N1. Dead ahead is Kagurazaka. You can see up here is Yotsuya is this way, Ichigaya. Also uh, Shinjuku further on, straight ahead. But we'll, uh, after my job, we will cut down the main street of Kagurazaka and I'll show you some uh, cool stuff there. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm uh, at the moment with all of this free time. When I'm not cleaning, I'm out on the bike, cruising around Tokyo and trying to give you a, a different perspective of what our everyday life is like on the roads of Tokyo and in the nooks and crannies, in the eateries. So yeah, please subscribe. Please click that thumbs up. But well, that was a quick job. I like those in and outs. Kind of like clockwork orange. In and out. Jesus. But over in this area, there's a lot of these cool old Japanese homes that have been converted into restaurants. And if you walk around the, the little side streets in Kagodazaka, you see a lot of those. Really cool. It just makes the meal a lot more enjoyable when you're in those rustic old homes and the atmosphere is really great. The road's closed, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... You can see people here waiting for a takeout. Wow, there's a lot of people waiting here for the takeout. I've never seen that many people waiting there. This is kind of the main shopping street of Kagurazaka. We're gonna head up here. All along here, just loads and loads of really good shops. There's a Nikamon take out there. This is Kagurazaka Gojuban, an institution here for Nikamon, hot steam buns. Today, we're here for Godzilla's buns. Here's the Godzilla Nikuman, the steamed buns. Kagurazaka Gojuban. That means number 50. Love the branding of this company. Basically, the Godzilla Nikuman is a black bun, and they give you a special box. It's like a little collector's box that you steam it in. That's cool. So you put it in the microwave, and it's like a commemorative Godzilla carrying case for your hot steam bun. Come on. I'm just wondering if this is supposed to be a Godzilla dropping. Here we go. Mm. Oh man. It's like a spicy ebby curry and tasty. So here you go, Kagurazaka. Check it out when you're in Tokyo. Hey, <laughs> little boy's like, wow. Actually, wait a minute. What's that? All right, well, I think I just did something illegal right in front of those cops. 
they were busy with the poor girl on the scooter. I couldn't tell if we were able to go straight there or not. That concludes our tour of Kagurazaka. Be sure and check out the Peter Von Gom Japan live channel. We're live streaming all over Tokyo. And if you like this kind of content, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. The details are in the description. I'm kind of checking in my side view mirror here for the fuzz. See if they're coming up behind me. I guess we're clear. <laughs>